everyone, so I'm back today for another video and today's video is going to be a first impression on the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation which I have right here and I have the shade Tahoe and it's a medium dark too and the way I, I did buy this online so the way I did explain in my previous video but I'll just explain again um, the way I buy foundations online is I basically search swatches on Google Images and there's actually quite a lot of girls that have like a, all the foundations and they do all the swatches on their arms so you see like the range of colours they have and then you just see wherever you are and then you search the shade on YouTube and see who's wearing that foundation, how their skin tone is and how they like what the shade is under lighting and you know all that jazz and then I think that's all I do really. That's how I shop online for foundations. Sometimes it doesn't go right. Like for my Urban Decay one, I got it online and it was just too light. So it's just like, it's a risk basically. So if you don't want to take that risk, I suggest going um, to a shop and then checking it out on your hand and then buying it online if you prefer. Because I buy online because I get discounts and stuff. So yeah so the packaging is really really nice and like sleek and everything so this is what the foundation looks like and the lid is quite matte so I'm guessing this will get dirty throughout its time with me because it's already starting to get dirty um, so you just screw off the top like this and there's no pump obviously but I don't know how I feel about this yet because my Estee Lauder Double Wear has no pump but it's a very liquidy foundation like you can pour it out on your hand I don't know about this one though yeah it's not pouring out so you would have to tap it on your hand and that kind of like annoys me because the price that you're paying for this it should come with a pump I don't get it I don't get why it doesn't come with a pump but anyways um, so it does say on the packaging that it's a sheer glow foundation it's sheer glow silky fluid delivers immediate hydration even skin tone and leaves the skin brighter and more radiant used daily your skin's tech your skin's texture improves over time becoming softer smooth and more luminous Sheer Glow Foundation provides weightless and buildable coverage with a natural radiant finish for normal to dry skin types which I, you guys know that I have dry skin by the way I'm going to first moisturise my skin with this Effaclar Duro um, I really like this because I feel like it's been making my skin feel better and I do use it every now and then whenever I think my skin is like a bit funny and you really don't need that much but for my skin it's not really that hydrating like it's not hydrating enough but I feel like it is helping to like even up my skin tone and this costs 15 pounds so it's, so it's kind of like a high-end skincare but it does say it's anti marks and everything so I've been liking it so far and then I'm just gonna add some moisture nourish plus by my by Garnier like this is like my moisture match cream and this one's for dry to very dry skin and this one's just like really good for my skin because it just moisturizes my skin so well I'm also going to apply some of my Smashbox primer water I haven't tried this yet but um, I'm only going to apply it on like half of my face to see if there is a difference so I'm going to cover half of it so this is what it looks like um, so I'm just going to do this half I just really love to bathe myself in like makeup sprays. It doesn't really have a scent. Like it have a, it has a really like light the lightest fresh smell. Um but yeah, it was quite easy to apply. Just waiting for it to dry. Um so I've dampened my beauty blender. I am going to apply this with my beauty blender cuz lately I've only been using my makeup sponges to apply foundation I haven't been using any brushes at all and I don't know why because I just really like the finish and it's just so much quicker to do I've just zoomed in for you guys a bit and I'm just gonna let you see what it looks like oh please mind my hairy arms ew so let's see yeah, let, I hope I don't mess this up because I think it's really important for you guys to see how it looks like how it like applies on the hand see this is so much hassle like why do I have to go through this can't you just put a pump seriously so I'm just gonna apply that much so that's what it looks like on my skin on my hand and I'm really happy with like the um, the shade well let's just see how it looks on my face 
it's quite similar to my um, MAC NC45 in the studio scalp. It's quite similar to my double wear as well. But my double wear is like a more olivey tone, which I really like. This is more like on the warm side, on the orangey side. I don't want to put too much because I am going to school. I mean, it does look really nice on the skin. It just applies really like seamlessly with this sponge. It doesn't apply patchy around here. Oh my god, it doesn't even look patchy at all. I think I might get a pump for this one. Just applying it in some areas, like on my nose. And I just need some down my neck. On my fat double chin. <laughs> so I finished blending it. This is what it looks like. As you can tell, it looks very, very glowy. Oh gosh. But I really love glowy skin, so um, it does. It doesn't feel dry. Like I do get dry around here and on my nose area, and it doesn't feel dry. It's not flaking. So I've just gotten really up close and personal right now. But as you can see, it gives a really nice flawless finish. I mean, I don't see any bad things with it. So the shade, I just really love the shade. It looks really really warm and it just evened out my skin tone and I didn't know that this actually helps to make your skin skin look better over time, like kind of like a skincare product. So I'm like really happy about this foundation. I have been waiting to try this foundation for so long so I am happy with the way it's applied on my skin. It just feels really nice, like hydrating and it just looks glowy. It is 10.05 at the moment, so it is quite early, and um, I'm just going to quickly do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So I've just finished the rest of my makeup, and my makeup kind of like applied really nicely on top of this foundation. I'm, so far, I'm, I am really liking it. I did apply some concealer, um, I set that in, and a highlight, and then um, a bronzer, well I use a cream contour, and then I set it with the bronzer. And that's all I've done really, like I don't put powder on my face because I just feel like, um, I just don't really like putting powder on my skin and I, it just takes away that dewy finish and I feel like sometimes it really dries me out and makes me look flaky and cakey. I'm just going to quickly set in my smile lines using this shade right here from my Makeup Revolution Contour Palette and I'm ju just set those in because I get really bad smile lines. <laughs> But do you know what? I really like how this made my skin look. Um, it just made everything look even. It matches my neck nicely. It doesn't look too much. It doesn't look cakey. I just really like it so far. Um, and yeah, that's what I really have to say. Uh, I am going to go to school now. It is. Um, it took me like 20 minutes to put my makeup on. Um, it's 10.31, so I'm just going to um, do some stuff. I'm going to go to school and I'll be around later on today because I finished quite late today. I finished at 6 because I got a late lecture. Um, so yeah, I'll be back later on and then we'll just see how it is and then I'll just do the outro to the video. Um, so yeah, so I've literally just come back from school and it's now 7.36pm. So it's been quite a while. I made the video like at 10 o'clock. So far, I really, really like the foundation. Oh my god, you guys really need to see this. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Oh my god, look. That is so cute. She's my little chum chum. As you can tell, it held up like really, really well. It hasn't even rubbed, rubbed off anywhere. Like, I rub my nose a lot and it, it hasn't even rubbed off that much there either. It hasn't given me smile lines as much as like my other foundations do, which is crazy. That is so weird. Like, for once, I don't have massive, disgusting smile lines. Um, the thing is, I would say, it, like, it's made me, like, shiny. Um, I don't mind shininess, but as you can tell, like, I'm really shiny. Like, even on my forehead, it's really shiny. Um, 
but I guess it is a sheer glow foundation but I really like the dewiness of this foundation it's just really really good and the coverage I would say is medium to full coverage um, the shade is amazing what's good about this foundation is that it comes in like so many shades so there's there's something for everyone and yeah I think that's all I have to say I would say that if you have oily skin I wouldn't wear this foundation because I have dry skin and you can see what it's doing to my face so if you have really oily skin I do not recommend this foundation you could try and use it with like a mattifying primer or something I don't know like something to help the oil I hope I'm not missing anything out oh yeah and by the way I was in really disgusting weather like I've had water like it's been pouring outside and like there's been like rain spraying on my face so it's held up really well even though like water's been on it it hasn't gone patchy anywhere maybe a bit here but that's because of, like I have those baby hairs so as you can see it's just really really nice I really love the finish of it I mean that's obviously my highlight but I just love how it makes my skin look really nice and it's made my skin look really really smooth which I really like because I have these really little tiny bumps all around my face but I feel like with the skincare products that I've been using lately I've, I've, my skin is getting a bit better I mean especially my nose but yeah I really like this foundation so yeah that's really all I have to say I overall I would give this foundation a 9 out of 10 because I just really like it I don't know why I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 can you please tell me why I'm not? Um, I don't know, like yeah, 9 or 10 out of 10 because it is a really good foundation. If you have dry skin, I would definitely recommend this one. And it is a very like well-known foundation. It has like a lot of hype around it and I just I just love it. Like it's the first time I'm using it. And yeah, I hope I'm not missing anything out. But if I am, um, just if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments below and I will I always try to answer all your questions so I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this helpful make sure to um, give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you all next time bye guys <laughs>